all right well hello there everyone welcome back to my channel um if this is your first time to drop by my name is mac so today we are going to do an unboxing of the divine feminine oracle i'm pretty sure there's a lot of videos already out there that has this one but this one is going to be my first time to see the full cards um personally and this one has been actually on my shelf for a few months now I've just been very busy, uh, you know, with, with a lot of things. Um, honestly, you know, my, my dad recently passed away and uh, I haven't really had quite done so many unboxing videos. Um, I am fixing so many things right now, so I'm taking care of a lot of things as of the moment. So this one has been my time to do an unboxing video. Um, so I just, I don't know, probably, uh, it, it's the right time for me to like unbox this one and maybe even ask some, you know, some, some guidance from, from this Oracle card. So let's, let's see how it looks like. Let's see how it goes. Let's take a look at the card, see the whole deck itself and try to figure out if this one is going to be. Um, resonating with me or not so um, all right so at the back it says in here uh, the divine fee sorry the divine feminine oracle is an invitation to reclaim your power it's a spiritual tool to hone your intuition working with it can be a sacred practice of remembering that you contain your own answers you can drop into your heart that cathedral of love inside you and receive what is needed so in this, in this exquisite oracle deck scholar speaker and author megan waterson has gathered together the saints mr uh saints mystics gurus and goddesses from the world religions who represent both divine beings and human women who sought to embody them each of these sacred deities, when called upon, can strengthen your capacity to hear your soul from the unyielding love of Mary Magdalene to the transformational force of the goddess Kali. You will discover the expansive quantity, oh, sorry, expansive qualities of the divine feminine within you so that you can embody with ease and levity the love that you already are. So this retails for $21.99 and here's how this side looks like the front is gorgeous in this one um by the way artwork is by lisbeth cheever gassaman 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 i think um author is megan waters and of course and it's uh, it consists of 53 cards so let's just you know remove the plastic first and it's just easy for me to remove it right now. <laughs> I'm gonna throw this out. And here we go. All right, I'm going to have to open the box. It feels matte, by the way. Um, if you can hear that one, that's my beagle. So, um, I know that the cards are matte because it feels matte. Most of, you know, Hay House, this one's published by Hay House, by the way. So, most of Hay House um, cards, if it feels matte, on the outside not every not every one of them but most of them um if you have a matte um finished box it means the cards are also uh matte and there we go and it's a pretty thick you know pretty thick guidebook to be honest see wow <laughs> all right so um, I, I guess we're gonna go through let me just remove the paper binding. We're gonna go through the um, guidebook first. It's a beautiful backing right there. Uh, hold on. Alright, so at least you will see. Oops. Alright. I'm gonna. Let's, let's proceed with the guidebook first. Alright. So we have here the back about the author. So it says in here you will meet each 
of these holy ladies eye to eye so they can remind you of your own light. I want you to experience darshan, a form of seeing and being seen by the divine with each card. I want this oracle to be a sacred mirror so you can forget just how much divine love you have come from. All right now so we have this title page um how to love yourself a secret manual for getting spiritual naked those are interesting works all right so we have a team of contents we have here the dedication page then introduction so the 53 cards goddesses it's 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 a lot to be honest so this is actually a good one and let's try to see if there's something you know that's um worth important here all right so why this oracle more of like a feminine reparation okay so there's still how to use the oracle All right, give me one second. Okay, all right, I'm sorry about that. Okay, so right, we have here invocation, um, invitation, soul voice meditation. Now, the soul voice meditation, I think it's a part of the guidebook, you know, for each card. Uh, let's see here. There you go. Um, this is actually like a question where um, you can use if ever you're meditating um if for if for example you're doing a, a pull-up card daily um so you can use the soul voice meditation um a question for yourself so it's a it's a question for yourself that you can use when you're meditating um and then we also have in here <laughs> We also have in here intention. So intentions are more of like affirmations, um, a mantra, prayers, and stuff that you can actually use as well. Something that you can remember. So that's actually about it for the introductions and everything. And then we have now the cards itself. And it dives directly into each card. So we have a picture of the card itself, the title of the card we have in here. Um, I think. Let's see. Yep, exact same thing. So who the person is, and then we have the um, intention right there. So we have who she is, a uh, further detail, and then when your soul selects her card. So this is how this is the meaning of the card. So this is actually nice because we have in here like a, a, a little detail about each card, about each goddess, each person, right over there. Um, and then we have the meaning of the card when you draw it, and then the soul wave, soul voice meditation, and of course the intention in each card. And that goes on, I think. Yeah, looks like. That goes on up until the last one right and then we have here at the back some acknowledgments about the author about the artist and about Hay House so this was published 2000 <sighs> let's see I forgot when it's published 2018. It's been out in the market for quite a few years now. And then, of course, favorite part, let's proceed with the flip through. Right. So we have here 
first card. There we go. Mary Magdalene. So they're borderless. Sean Fork. The Warrior of Light. Rita of Kasha. And Miraculous. Then we have here Margaret Perrette or Perrette or Perrette. I'm not sure. Mystic of Divine Love. Then we have here Perpetua, the Saint of Authenticity. The Black Madonna, or the Affirmates. Now, these are a combination of religious. Um, you know, saints, um, goddesses. We have Our Lady of Guadalupe right here. Teresa of Avila. Pope John. The Pontiff Possibilities. We have Tekla. We have Catherine Labor or Labor <laughs> so the patroness of miraculous healing. And we have here Rabia, the Queen of Saint Women. We have Kadila or Kadiha. The mother of believers. We have Fatima, the mother of Imams. We have Kali, the mother of the universe. Alright, hold on. Sorry. Okay. We have Anandamaima, the joy permeated, permeated mother. And you know the artworks here? They are, uh, what do you call this? They're really quite um there's we have Lakshmi here in the goddess of abundance. I'm pretty sure they're based from real people that would probably entirely look like them. We have Parvati, the goddess of devotion. Saraswati, the goddess of self knowledge. Mirabai, the scene of true freedom. Lalita, the red goddess. She seems to be like a perky um, goddess, joyful one. We have Sarada Devi, the Divine Mother. Akilanda, the goddess of never not broken. Lalia, or Lala. Sorry, <laughs> it's actually my um, shits right there playing again. The scene of spoken words. <laughs> Oops, sorry. <laughs> Kayla's a little bit being playful right now. 
All right, we have Kuan Yin, the goddess of compassion. Miao Shan, the princess of mercy. Look at the tiger right there, white tiger. Then we have the green Tara, oops, or the Buddha of enlightened action. We have, okay, it's a little bit hard. Um, Vajra Yogini, the essence of all Buddhas. We have Yashi Chogyal, Lady of the Lotus Born. We have Machi Lab Labdron, the Diamond Hearted Dakini. Wow. I'm excited to read the guidebook who each one of them are. I'm not familiar with all of them. Now we have Dakini, the Enlightened Feminine. And it's, it, I really like, you know, interesting facts about stuff. So the guidebook is really helpful that they included, you know, who each one of them are. We have my Bago, the warrior saint. Shekinah, the princess of the divine feminine. And I like, you know, the images because they're kind of like really portray this. Um, this uh, powerful, you know, um, how do you call this? A uh, powerful feminine aura. We have Lilith, the first woman. Queen Esther, the morning star. Amaterasu, the goddess of light. Pretty. The white buffalo calf woman, the prophetess of a sacred way. Zhuzhuani Jing, the mystic of peace. Now, there are so many, um, you know, feminine goddesses oracle cards. Um, I do have the Goddess Power Oracle by Hay House as well. I do have um, the Goddess Oracle by Bradley. Or previously by Doreen Virtue. But I already like, um, you know, rehomed it, had it rehomed because it wasn't really resonating with me that well. And we have St. Bridget, Our Lady of Exalted Light. I will probably try to like inform you which one, which goddess um, related oracle deck is really helpful to me. We have Isis. We have Sekhmet, the Red Lady. And so far I guess this one is going to be the best that I would have to recommend so far among all of the goddesses oracle cards that I have. Hestia. We have Sappho, the poetess. We have Ariadne, mistress of the labyrinth. Diana, queen of the wilderness. Yemoja, the goddess of all that flows. We have Freja, the goddess of discernment. Inanna, the queen of heaven and earth. And Hedwana, the high priestess. Sara Lakali, queen of the outsiders. And the last one is the Cosmic Egg, the Divine Feminine. I hold the universe within me. I am the force of an ever-expanding love. 
All right, so that's it for the flip through. Now let's try to shuffle the cards and see if they're easy to shuffle. Yep, they are bendable. <laughs> so, <laughs> one more time. Yep, very easy to shuffle. And I'm getting a whiff of the scent of new cards. Love it. Yep, you know, um, riffle shuffle isn't bad. Let's try overhand shuffling, which is also nice. And now, let's try to do um, let's probably try to pick up one card and see what our message is for the day. Oops, sorry. Alright, that should be enough. Let's pick up one card. We have Frasia. And let's see from the guidebook. <laughs> okay, one thing that I've noticed is that um, if you are the kind of person, you know, who uses um, guidebooks through the table of contents, it would be easier for you to find the page. But if you are a lazy type of person who just flips through, you're going to have a hard time with it. So it's a good thing, you know, I was using because I noticed that the table of contents, they are already alphabetized, of course, but if you can see, sorry about that, here, if you can see here, you're already in alphabet, but the pages are all different pages scattered, so I figured that they're not alphabet, uh, they're not from um, A to Z, you know, in, in the guidebook for each of the meaning, they are according to how they were um, laid out during the flip through. So here we go. Now Freya, I think it's Freya. Sorry, I've been saying it wrong. Freya is the right pronunciation. So, so Freya is embodied. I'm sorry. Freya embodies the fierce and finely honed spiritual. Sorry finding honed spiritual skill of discerning the most life-giving choice in each moment. In Norse mythology, Freya is one of the most powerful and important deities. She is chief of the Valkyries, the demigoddess goddesses who choose who will live and who will die during every battle and war. After being Valkyries, the demigoddesses become Norns, the great goddesses who weave the fates and histories of people and nations. Freya rides into battle wearing a magical cloak of falcon feathers and takes half of those fighting. For her Valkyries, she models how to choose, then she rules over her heavenly afterlife, called Sesrumnir. She receives half of all those who die in battle, and the other half go to Val Valhalla, where the god Odin presides. She wears a legendary necklace or tor torque rather named Brisingamen with a powerful jewel that makes her irresistible. It is said to be gleaming and golden. It compels people to her when she calls. So when your soul okay, when you pick this card, it means discernment is derived from the Greek word diakrisis. It refers to a spiritual power that allows you to distinguish between the spirits that will cause harm and the spirits that will assist you. It lets us discern when a phone call or an email or a visit from a friend is going to add to our day or if it's going to derail it. Discernment is a difference between feeling led by the day, pull this way and that, and claiming it. Our time in this lifetime, at least, is limited. Every second is significant. Freya reminds us of the searing perception we all have, but perhaps don't use frequently enough. She wants us to be discerning with how we choose to spend our time and whom we choose to love. She wants us to never ever say yes to anything or anyone from a place of fear or obligation. You're a demigoddess, a Valkyr, a princess of your own fate. You get to choose the life you want to live 
and this happens by being fierce and warrior-like about what you say yes to. Use discernment so that you are only saying yes to what will exactly or to what will actually nourish and renew you, inspire, or expand you. It's not your business to worry about those you might disappoint. You were not made to meet everyone's expectations of you. You were made to express the truth of who you are and to use the brief time you have here to live out your potential. So nothing is obligatory except breathing. Your only true obligation is to the voice of your own soul. Freya wants you to realize the gleaming goal that you are and act accordingly. She wants you to unapologetically, wait, unapologetically choose the life you actually want to be living right now. She wants you to make your yes holy again by using it when it's the truth. So for soul voice meditation, what is a hell yes? The holy yes, you feel like my body is an intention. I spend my time wisely. I only say yes when it's a holy hell yes. So this card is actually just saying that not all of the time you have to say yes. You must learn, of course, how to say no if it's not really necessary. Um, if it's important to say no, then go ahead and say no. Don't be afraid to say no. So this card is actually letting you, you know, um, make use of your time the right way, wisely, smart, on this um, smart, smart way and you know this card is only telling you that um you know you feel when it's a need versus something that's not needed so um yeah i think this card just tells you that you know you have to be smart with your decisions you have to use your intuition if you if you want help you could um you could say no to things you could say you only have to say yes if it's really important if it's really needed don't be afraid to say no okay so i guess that's how this divine feminine card actually is and so i haven't really you know um played with this card or use this card yet but you know according to the flip through and everything that i've seen so far i think this one is going to be the best card that i could recommend among all the goddesses um feminine cards that i do have um so far so and i'm also actually thinking of um i don't know giving away my my uh, goddess or oracle so yeah this one is they both have like a different um intention to it but if you really want something to use as a meditation um you can use this one better than any other um, goddess oracle cards that you might have or that's out there so yeah this is this is how the divine feminine card is guys um have you had the chance you know to to work with this oracle deck please let me know how it did work out for you if you like this card please um, go ahead and let me know if you know what 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 cards specifically you know resonated with you um and you know if, if it didn't work out for you let me know why why did it not resonate with you was it something was there something lacking in the cards was there something that's not really connecting with you so yeah please do let me know and um anything worth sharing please let me know about these cards i would love to hear about it so thank you guys for watching this is mac and um don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and of course the notific the notification bell um so that you will know if i will upload a new review or unboxing video all right thank you again for watching don't forget to like and subscribe bye guys till my next video